Yo what's up? This is gonna be an update video for Armor Stack Champion Dorian prototype build. Uh, this is a build that I made maybe a month ago, maybe even a little bit more. I don't know. So I prepared this guide in 3.17 Arch Nemesis League. It is one of the most popular builds right now. People ask me questions every day. Lots of people are playing because this is probably the most powerful melee build right now in the game. Uh, so you can immediately start this build with like 20, maybe 30 eggs out of budget and just delete everything. Min max obviously goes up to 100 exalt or even more if you can also afford a mage blood. Uh, mage blood is probably uh, so this is probably one of the builds that actually needs mage blood to min max because permanent flask uptime means also uh, permanent armor bonus on you because armor equal to DPS for this build. Uh, so that's why I'm going to talk about those in this uh, video. This is going to be a short video. This is not a build guide. This is an update video for 3.18. I'm just going to explain uh, what I changed about the build. Also, this version do not even use Ashes of Stars. You don't need it. Uh, so that's why this is going to be cheaper to play right now. Uh, but obviously, again, if you can also afford the Mage Blood in the end, you are going to be unstoppable. Uh, so I got help from a friend and recorded the clips on his character because he is uh, he was rank one player on leatherboard but I believe he sold his build maybe I will also make one for my own character because this is a very fun build uh, so yeah let's just explain what I did in 3.18 also before that the build guide the original guide is in the description you make sure you uh, watch that all right if you are not familiar about the build so again, you can just start with this build, you know, playing this build with like 20, maybe 30 exalt and can achieve at least 20 million DPS and 89 resistances immediately. Uh, that is how powerful the build is. The character is obviously dualist champion. You can play any skill that can be used with swords. Most popular ones are Molten Strike and Lightning Strike. Molten Strike is the best for single target DPS. But Lightning Strike is a range skill and has a better mapping potential. So that is, I believe, a more popular one these days in Sentinel League. Uh, so yeah, Replica Dream Feather weapons still the same. Armor stacking weapons. So that's why higher armor mean more DPS. That's also the reason Mage Blood is a best in slot item for this build. You can just do without Mage Blood on most builds. But if you want to min max, Mage Blood is actually a very nice item for this build. Because you will have permanent armor buff on you and these weapons will provide even more dps all the time you won't even miss single dps because every defensive flask is actually also offensive flask it is what about the build still alpha hole helmet obviously with plus two aura gems that is nice They're, those are still two exalt a fairly cheap for this kind of powerful build or helm enchant defines banner can uh, be nice for any other any kind of skill let's say you can just switch gems you know one day you can play lightning strike the other day you can play molten strike the other day you can play maybe dual strike i don't know reeve whatever you want with swords uh, so that's why the helmet is makes you you know play flexible that helmet enchant but obviously if you want to min max a molten strike maybe obviously molten strike plus two projectiles or if you want to play with lightning strike all the time lightning strike pierce uh, you can also get Pierce on the talent tree with the new jewel. I believe the name is Impossible Escape. The picture is going to be on the screen. You need to get an Acrobatics Keystone. Uh, that jewel. So you can actually get the nearby notables. Uh, even if your tree is not even there, you know. That is what the jewel does. So there is actually piercing shots notable on the talent tree near Acrobatics. That is how you can actually get that on the talent tree without even needing the Helmut Enchant. Uh, so you, these are all going to be in the Path of Building, by the way. All right. So these are the new stuff for 3.18. I'm just going to explain those. But the armor still door in a prototype, obviously. That was makes this build available. Armor sticking. Uh, because of this body armor, obviously, you will die to lightning damage over time instantly. Because we have minus lightning resist. So the enemy can also have li minus lightning resist. So Uber Shaper. Uber Uber Elder. And some of the new Arc Nemesis modifier rare monsters. Uh, some of them actually has lightning degeneration effect. So these enemies will just kill you instantly if you get it by their damage over time abilities. So Shaper's Laser. Uh, Uber Uber Elders. Again, Shaper's Laser. Uh, so that Arc Nemesis mob. And I believe Mineral Pool's boss. You know, there's a Sea Witch that shoots a lightning beam. That is also lightning damage over time. 
and Baron the Crusader's ground effect. So this kind of lightning damage over time abilities unfortunately kills Dorian a prototype builds in half a second. You just die. So farming Shaper, Uber Shaper let's say, because regular Shaper is so easy you can just immediately phase him because you will have more than 20-30 million DPS easily even with less than 50 exalt of budget again i'm telling the same thing this is stupidly powerful this build is guaranteed gonna get nerfed in 3.19 if they won't do the same mistake and maybe they won't introduce any buffs nerfs again but i highly doubt it because that is one of the reasons uh, they lost so many players right now in sentinel no one plays this leak uh, this is a very shit leak unfortunately uh, we definitely need those patch notes for some buffs and nerfs so yeah, this build is probably gonna get nerfed, so this is probably your last chance to abuse this build for this budget. So yeah, that is about the door and the prototype, again, same thing. Gloves, obviously again, rare gloves, attack speed, life, resistance, those kind of stuff. You don't need any lightning resist because we want minus. And you can just get uh, any kind of gear with lightning resist and convert it to another resistances uh, by using harvest craft. That is how I actually fixed a couple of my items. So don't try to search for fire resist all the time, you know, cold resist. Just also search for lightning and then convert that. It is like 10 chaos, 15 chaos. People just sell it in the Forbidden Throw Discord all the time. Uh, for the implicit, if you are playing with lightning strike, there's actually projectile pierce and additional target. That is actually how I got a little bit of pierce. I'm not even using any helmet enchant or that impossible escape a jewel if the name is correct, alright? Strike target additional enemy. This works for both molten strike and also lightning strike. So definitely the other influence implicit uh, that you should consider getting boots life resist uh, cannot be chilled is super important because this build is not ailment immune you can also be frozen immune by using soul of the brain king pantheon you can just reduce the effect of uh, shock by using soul of garukan and also if you can afford the mage blood or just use a regular life flask maybe you can be immune to ignites so once you have mage blood you should probably put that ignite immunity on one of your flasks so you can actually be immune to ignite all the time or again, just use a life flask with ignite removal. Uh, so those are your options. So you will technically be ailment immune almost, let's say, with this setup. Uh, for the boots implicit, you can put action speed, avoid poison, avoid bleed, chaos resist. I don't know, anything that you can think of. Maybe sap ground, scorch ground. No, 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 scorch doesn't work for this build because we do not penetrate. So anything that you can think of, uh, action speed is probably one of the good ones. Alright, uh, Amulet, let's talk about this. So I made this build with Ashes of Stars because it was 30 chaos in 3.17. Right now the drop rate is nerfed. I believe it is uh, 1 out of 60 bosses, something like that, the drop rate. So that is stupid. And that's why the Amulet is like 40 exalt, 50 exalt. I don't know, I haven't checked the price. I'm not thinking about buying it for any of my builds right now. So yeah. So that's why this is the new Amulet. The Eternal Struggle, this starts from 1 chaos. Stupid amulet. So let's just explore the amulet first. Uh, so the implicits are completely random. That is where you should invest in. Uh, that is what makes the amulet maybe a couple of exalt. But normally the amulet starts from one chaos, the bad ones. So this can actually have some random searing exarch and eater of worlds implicits. If one implicit, let's say searing exarch, has a higher tier, let's say an ex exceptional tier maybe, and eater of worlds is a lesser tier, let's say. That makes the searing exact dominant. So that is actually how you get those bonuses at the bottom. So uh, our concern is searing exact dominant. So we can actually kill enemies that has lower than 15% health. So this is actually a culling strike. But a 15% culling strike, normally culling strike is 10%. So this is very nice for boss killing. So you want to buy an amulet that has a dominant searing exact um, implicit. So the best uh, implicit that you can get for this build is effect of non-curse auras from your skills. I believe highest tier starts from 15, uh, 15 to 16, something like that. That is the exceptional tier. That is what I used in this build. That is what my friend used because again, this is my friend's character. He is like rank two or maybe rank one before he is sold, sold the build. All right. Uh, so yeah, effect of non-curse, uh, what is that? Auras from your skills because this buffs our wrath aura, determination aura, Grace Aura, so more armor, more DPS, more lightning damage, more DPS. So this is the best in slot thing you can get. This also boosts your purity. So this is also how to get 90% resistances. Uh, so yeah, this is super important. Uh, if you just search for non curse Aura, tier 2, maybe tier 1, I don't know. They are like 1 Exalt, 2 Exalt. 
If you also search for a good eater of worlds in Placid, but that cannot be dominant, alright? That's why you should search for a higher tier, a non curse aura first, so that actually Culling Strike can work. So here are the good eater of worlds in Placid that I know. I'm sure that there are more, but these are all the things that I could find. Attack damage. Uh, effect of non-damage ailments, these boosts are shock effect actually. You can just uh, apply shock up to 50% with this implicit. Normally it's like 35%, maybe 40% shock. But if you just buy a similar amulet, you can just apply 50% shock, which means more damage taken to the enemy, huge DPS. Uh, this is probably the best combination. Uh, there is also a near, uh, when a unique enemy is in your presence, again effect of non-damage ailments. That is actually better because it has a higher uh, value. But there is also a regular one, so make sure you search for both, maybe try to find one. Uh, again, attack damage, that is cheaper. There is also mana reserve efficiency with non cures at the same time. Those are super expensive because more other builds are probably also using that. You don't need that. I already fixed mana reserve issue. Uh, so yeah, in the end, only a couple of exalt eternal struggle will, will carry you and you don't have to waste 50 exalt to an ashes of stars. This is how to fix. This is also way better than Ashes of Stars because you just call enemies below 15%. Super powerful item. This also gives you global defense, armor and evasion, so that works for this build, and all attributes. Just insane amulet. Just use this right now. Rings, uh, just same stuff mostly, but there's one difference. Uh, because we don't have Ashes of Stars anymore, we lost plus one gems. That's actually the reason you need to get some gem level from somewhere else for your purity. So you can actually achieve that plus one resist, which will get scaled to plus three, I believe, with aura effect. Uh, so you, in the end, you need. Let me just check in my pet of building right now. I'm just trying to find my purity, uh, and I'm blind. I cannot find it. Oh yeah, I found it. Let me just check. All right, you need a level twenty-three purity of fire. So if you just buy a twenty-one purity of fire, it is like ten chaos, I believe. Uh, you need at least plus two ring, you know, an unset ring, plus two level of socket gem. There's also plus three, but you don't need it. Uh, it is a waste of money. So with plus two socket gems, uh, uh, if you just socket in a 21 level purity, it, it is actually 23 level of purity of fire, which grants five additional maximum fire resist, which will get scaled to, I don't know how much, but you will have 90 fire resist in the end. Obviously, we are using melding of the flesh. Jewel, this is right now three exalt. It is cheaper compared to one week earlier, maybe, because it was 7 exalt. So this is right now super cheap compared to the last week, previous weeks. Uh, so with the combination of this, you can actually make your other resistances 90% uh, cap. So once you just cap your cold resist, it is also going to be 90%. So this is how to achieve that uh, maximum resist. This unset ring is important. The usual stats on rings are again life missing resistances. This build needs a little bit intelligence, so that's why I picked... Um, Amulet, uh, what's that? Uh, I picked a ring with an intelligence. Amulet also provides intelligence, so it's going to be easy to keep your intelligence. Anyways, elemental damage with attacks and maybe minus mana cost of skills, those kind of stuff. Also, flat lightning damage helps a lot. Finally, yes, final item, a uh, belt. Again, if you just have a lower budget, 20 exalt, 30, 30 exalt, uh, just start with immortal flesh, one alchemy belt. Uh, if you can find or afford one, there is some good corruptions. Grace aura effect, determination aura effect, rat aura effect, or maybe some attack speed during flask effect. I believe that is something that exists. Anything that you can find, uh, that is how to min max that belt. Because that belt has actually minus resistances, which will lower your lightning resist, obviously. Meaning more DPS because this is a door in a prototype build. Uh, min max, mage blood. This makes uh, four magic utility flasks uh, constantly apply their effects, meaning that our granite, jade, basalt, and steep knight flask are gonna be up all the time, providing us huge armor all the time, armor equal to DPS. That's why you won't lose any DPS. Uh, that is what makes mage blood super powerful in this build. Obviously, mage blood is a powerful item. Uh, it is it is also you know good for other builds, but it is way better for this build because every flask grants us DPS. Um, so yeah, let me just show you a little bit of stuff on the path of building and that's gonna be it. So remember if you played this build or maybe you are trying to do it right now, I used some cluster jewels, I believe I deleted those, with um, hit and run and I don't know the other name, so some dual wield cluster jewels, alright? 
the, because the build is popular, those are right now 7, maybe 8 exalt. We are not using those, obviously. I fixed that. We, we want Fit to Fury, Full to Fight, Martial Provost, the usual stuff that most builds use. These are 1.5 exalt. You want two of these? Fit to Fury, Martial, what is that? Not this one, and yeah. Fit to Fury, Full to Fight, Martial Provost. You want two of these. The reason for that is you get Fit to Fury, Life Leech, and Damage. Martial Provost, obviously, attack damage, attack speed. This is important. You actually skip Fuel the Fight. So this saves you point. But you will say uh, you didn't get any mana leech. That's why the other combination is different. This is, again, one exalt. This is cheaper, by the way. Calamitious, Fuel the Fight, Martial Provost. So without Feed to Free, the jewels are actually cheaper because Feed to Free is the best notable that you can get on any build. And uh, this one doesn't have that. That's why it has actually Calamitious here. So this combination is good. If you know any other good combinations, that works because we want to skip some points. We, we don't want this. This is obviously providing DPS, but you can actually get more DPS from other part of the tree, let's say. You'll divide this time. You can actually get this because it is here. And again, Martial Pros. So these are the three clusters you need to use. Two of this and one of this. This will cost you three, four exalt total. On the other hand, the other version, only one cluster is 7 exalt. If you want to buy 3, it is 21 exalt. Don't do that. Uh, this, is the, this is how to play in 3.18. Uh, simple as that. Again, introspections. These are super cheap. Starts from 50 chaos. Just buy uh, these with um, some resistances. If it has lightning resist, again, go for harvest craft and change it. Most people don't know that you can actually change resistances on jewels. Yes, you can do that. Uh, just buy... Convert lightning resist to cold or convert lightning resist to fire. So you can actually fix these resistances. Uh, maybe try to put some attributes. You will mostly need intelligence. Uh, that is on my ring and unique amulet. Uh, just same stuff. Resist, damage, resist, chaos resist, damage. Two points. Introspections. Again, 60 chaos. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Just the same stuff. Again, a brutal restraint. Just try to find a good one. Uh, it, is, it is in the path of building, obviously. If you are playing with Molten Strike or Lightning Strike, those are projectile skills, so having point blank actually provides good DPS. But if you are at lower level, uh, feel free to skip this, because this is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. If you are like 90 levels, don't get this. Once you are like 95, 96, also finish this part of the tree, because you have to equip all the clusters to feel strong, actually. Because Aura Effect provides huge armor and also 90 resistances. Um, that's about it. Uh, I thought I told at the start that this is not going to be a build guide, but I actually tried to go over everything. Again, this is where the Impossible Escape works with acrobatics, so you can actually get piercing shots. Uh, the jewel is going to be in the path of building. I still haven't added that. So the path of building is going to be updated once you are watching this video. You know, once you check, once you download the path of building link. Uh, one last thing, if you want to do that, if you are maybe higher level, if you think you can skip some other stuff, I don't know. Here is something that I saw people doing. They put Thread of Hope here. And they actually get this here, Graceful Assault, Onslaught Effect, and Evasion Armor during Onslaught. The Thread of Hope also actually provides uh, minus resistances, so... As you can see with Mage Blood, it is impossible to hit minus 200 resist, that is the minimum cap, actually. So having some Thread of Hopes can actually provide you good DPS. If you have an Immortal Flesh with minus 25, it's, it's gonna be, what's that, 146. With Thread of Hope, 165. I don't know, I've lost count. So yeah, uh, less than 150. So consider getting a Thread of Hope maybe here. If you cannot find a good Brutal Restraint, because actually my Jewel had Aura Effect in these. Uh, so yeah. So that's why you can actually skip these points. Or those kind of stuff and that's about it uh yeah one last question because i showed this already how are we gonna get onslaught um i will also add that to the pet of building that, that is not here right now onslaught implicit boots it is a synthesized base they are like for exalt right now i believe most people don't even know that those kind of boots actually exist people just pay for what are those Onslaught rings, they are like 20 exalt, but the boots are 4 exalt. And boots are super easy to craft. Just use some resist essences, chaos resist especially. Just hit uh, more resist maybe. And fix the prefixes with maybe Aislink uh, research. 
veiled option, you know, just put life, move, speed and craft the other one from the bench and bam, your boots are ready. It won't cost you 10 exalt uh, because the base is already 4 or 5 exalt, the onslaught. Maybe you will just spam like 30, 40 essences, which are like 1 chaos each, maybe 2 chaos each. Super easy to craft, guys. And that's gonna be in the path of building in an onslaught boots. If you want to min max the build, onslaught obviously provides move speed and attack speed. And again, if you also get a trade off up here, that actually sees this notable. I'm not sure about the um, radius. Let's just also put that right now, and that's gonna be end of the video. Minus 20, obviously, because we want lower resistances. There's actually also a massive ring, but you don't need that, I believe. Uh, so let's do this. I believe we want very large. Let's check. Yeah. All right. What is this? You can also get this, by the way. Armor, if you have been hit. Yeah, sounds about right. As you can see, these also boosts are armor and evasion. Why is this not working? Yeah, because my character doesn't have onslaught right now. If I just check this, I'm good armor and... Oh shit, look at this DPS. Holy shit, Onslaught provides so much DPS, guys. You should definitely consider getting an Onslaught synthesized uh, boot. Even without this notable, uh, I'm sure that it will provide you good DPS. Let's just check again. Onslaught. Nice DPS. Definitely worth the investment. Uh, more attack speed, obviously, is better also. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Again, this was an update video. Make sure you watch the initial guide uh, that I made. Uh, lots of people are playing it. I hope you guys enjoying this build. More builds are gonna also come soon. Um, if you have any build ideas, maybe you can just suggest me something in my Discord. Make sure you are in my Discord. I talk to people all the time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.